Welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Just working on a new video on how to flash your BIOS without a CPU, RAM or GPU or anything. Just all you need is a power supply and yep, you'll be flashing away. Now first of all what you guys need to do is either Google or follow the link in the description that I have and just go to BIOS. After going into BIOS make sure you go up all the way up to download the latest version of the BIOS. Click the little cloud with the down arrow button to download it. After you've downloaded the file you will need to go in and change the given file from that name to this name exactly and it needs to be case sensitive so the gigabyte name needs to be in capital full stop. After you've done this make sure you copy it onto a fresh USB which is clean and it has to be FAT32. Alright guys after everything is done uh, with like the USB so this is the things I want you to do on my end. So first of all with everything switched off if it's a good idea not to touch the board just to discharge any electricity built up in your body always good to touch metal I've got metal here this is good if it's off just touch that it'll discharge any electricity built up static or whatever so now very important before you turn it on this needs to go here so the USB you just created with me that needs to go into this so the one that says BIOS on it okay BIOS USB 3 it won't work in any of the other ones all right the other thing you need to ensure is you don't have anything else on this okay so just the 24 pin power supplies and what you need you, you can't have usb i mean uh, your ram cpu graphic cards or ssd anything plugged in so nothing okay all you need is your power supply for this one this is for the people who want to get am4 ready for the new ryzen chips and things like that and they need to do the q flash now also one more thing i wanted to just quickly show you guys that's the button you need to press okay so the Q flash button I'll just focus on that right so the Q flash and the other one is there so the USB is in there the Q flash is the one you need to hold okay all right wish me luck let's start this off so just turn on your power supply and just hold it on Q flash so it's on now Okay guys, that's basically it. Simple, straightforward. When the flashing light of the Q BIOS button turns off and the fans turn off, it's completely done. You can safely turn off your PSU and unplug everything and you're good to go. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps other people find it. And also remember to subscribe as it helps the channel a lot. If you want to further help me, which will be which will be appreciated, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I also have Patreon. Please do check that out. Thank you for sticking to the end. I hope this helped you out. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.